In today's video, I'm going to show you how to have multiple local open source AI models with Olama and then integrate them into Crew AI. Okay, well, the first thing we need to do is create our crew. We're going to do it the same way as we did in the last example from the first video, and that's through the command line. So we're going to say crew AI create crew and then the name of the project. So for me, I'm going to say day underscore two. And this is going to create all the files and configurations necessary to create our crew. Now we're going to start off in the crew file. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of uh, these comments, some other things here that we no longer need. And we're going to change a couple of things here because we want to have a Chuck Norris joke creator. Now we have two agents already and then the two tasks assigned to those agents. But let's go ahead and rename these. And this is gonna give you an idea of what you would do and what we're gonna do in future projects. So we're gonna say, instead of researcher, this is a Chuck Norris, Norris joke generator. Okay, and then uh, with this, we want to change the configuration to uh, Chuck Norris joke generator. And then for the reporting analysis, this is a Chuck Norris joke picker. So we're going to have a generator to give us a bunch of them. Then the picker is going to pick the best one. Well, whatever it thinks is the best one. Okay. So then we're going to change the configuration here. So now we have two different agents. It's going to grab these agents, which we will need to change in the YAML file. And then we have a research task, which we're going to change, change to the generate joke task. And then this one is going to be the pick joke task. Okay. Now again, I'm using cursor. So it's kind of giving me hints and telling me how I can change the names of these. All right, now, as far as the crew itself, again, because we use self.agents and self.task, it's gonna know which ones they are because of the decorators around these methods. So the agents and the tasks, right? So we don't have to change anything here. We're gonna keep it uh, sequential as well. We can go ahead and get rid of that get rid of those, and then we're good here. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is now we need to update our agents in the task property file. So under the config, again, it created the agents.yaml and the task.yaml file. So for the agents YAML file, this will kind of give you some practice as to um, updating them yourselves. So we need to change the first agent to the Chuck Norris joke generator. The role is no longer going to be a data research, you're going to be a Chuck Norris joke generator. The goal is to generate a Chuck Norris joke. Then the backstory is you are the best joke generator in the world. You always generate the best jokes. Okay, so then the other agent is the Chuck Norris joke picker. And then the topic for this is that you are, or the role for, for this is the Chuck Norris joke picker. Yeah, we wanna pick the best joke from the list of jokes. And actually, now that we need to change this, generate, let's say, generate 10 Chuck Norris jokes, okay? And then we want this one to pick the best from there. And then the backstory is you are a great judge of jokes. Okay, so it can be something simple, just like this. And now for our task, you know, we're gonna have to change this to the generate joke task. And then we can change the description to generate 10 Chuck Norris jokes. And then the expected output is a list of 10 Chuck Norris jokes. And then we're gonna tie this to the agent Chuck Norris joke generator. Then the next task is to pick a joke task. And then we're going to have it say, pick the best joke from the list of jokes. The expected output is just the best joke from that list. All right, and then we can, we can say the expected output. We want to format it as markdown, but we don't actually, we don't actually need this one to, we don't need this one to give us an output file. And we wanna tie this to the agent Chuck Norris joke picker. Now, there are two ways to tie the task to the agent. You can do that here in the YAML files or back in the uh, in the crew. If you go to the task right here, in the first example, we said agent, and then we would say self dot Chuck Norris joke generator. So now this task, whenever it's run, it knows it's tied to that agent. But this is just another way that you can tie the task to the agent. And then we also, you know, we, don't, we can go ahead and get rid of the output file. We don't need that. So now we have the agents, the task, we have the crew, that's all ready to go. And then we have the main Python file. This is the last thing we need to make sure is good. So we can get rid of the train, replay, and test functions. We don't need those right now. And then we have the run crew. Now, something that is, you know, they, they will fix is we don't, it says from day two dot crew, but it's just 
from crew import the day two crew class. Okay, so then after this, we can also say, well, we need to run this. We can just call the run function. We also don't have any inputs. We will have inputs in another video and I'll show you how all of that works. Again, we just fixed this error here and there's actually one more. So if you go to the crew, this class here, you don't need the parentheses. You know, this is gonna act, make it seem like it's a function, but it's a class, not a function. And then once you change that, we can save it and this should work. You can run this and test this with your open AI API key but I'm now going to show you how to use Olama and LM Studio. The first thing is we need to create an LLM because there's another property for each of these agents that we will use and tell it which LLM that we want to use. So under, under your uh, imports from Crew AI, you can also import LLM. Now let's go to Olama and get the models so that we know which ones we want to use. So if you go to olama.ai or olama.com, you'll come here and go ahead and you wanna click the download button if you don't have it already installed on your computer. It's for Mac, Linux, and Windows. Then in the models up here in the top right, once you have that downloaded, I'm gonna we're gonna choose Llama 3.2. So if I were to click this, you can see that you can choose from the latest uh, 1 billion parameter, 1 billion parameter, or the 3 billion parameter model. So we're gonna use the 1 billion parameter model. So once you download it, go ahead and run it. And if it's running properly, for instance, on the Mac up here at the top right, you'll see a little Olama symbol. Now I know that I want to use the 3.2 1 billion parameter model. So I'm going to copy this. We're going to go back to cursor. Let me open up my terminal here. And in here, we're going to say Olama pull and then paste in that model. Now I'm already going to have this like it's, it's already done, but what this does is download this model onto your computer so that we can use it. Now let's go ahead and download another one so that you can see how we can use multiple at the same time. The next one I want to use is Phi 3. So I can just copy Phi 3 and then by default, this is the 3.8 billion parameter model. So I'm going to come back here, Olama, pull, and then type in Phi 3. Now I already had it downloaded, so that took me just a second, right? But this is going to take you a little while depending on your computer. And now Olama is done. Now we can actually create these and then insert these LLMs into these agents to use them instead of OpenAI. So we'll say Olama underscore 1B for the 1 billion parameter model. And we'll say LLM. So we're going to instantiate a class of, of what we imported from Crew AI. So this model is equal to Olama slash. And you have to say Olama slash because under the hood, Crew AI uses light LLM. So any, any provider that's connected to light LLM that you can use here. And Olama is one of them. So in order to make sure that we know it's from Olama, you'd say Olama slash. And then we can give the name of the model that we got from Olama. So if, so if you forgot, just go back to Olama and get it again. But for the 3.2 1 billion parameter model, that was Llama 3.2 colon 1B. And then after this, we also have to give the base URL because with Olama running, we now have a server locally running. So we can say comma and say local or base URL is equal to, and then HTTP localhost. And the one for Olama is 11434. That's just the URL whenever you have it running. Okay. You don't have to have that memorized, but this is what it is. And I'm going to create one for the Phi 3 model. So this will be Olama slash Phi 3. Now let's go ahead and put these into our agent. So in your agent, you're going to say comma, and you're going to add another property, and that's the LLM property. And we're going to say for this one, self.olama1b, because to actually generate the jokes. And then for the joke picker, we want to use the Phi 3 model. So we'll say LLM is self.phi3. Okay, now we are not going to be using OpenAI for this, even though we still have the key there, but we're going to be using our local models through Olama. So let's go ahead and run this now. I'm already in the source slash day two directory. And now what is, should happen first is the first agent, which is the Chuck Norris joke, joke generator, should generate 10 jokes using the Olama 1 billion parameter model. And then after that, the 5.3 model is going to choose one of them because that was the task that we gave it. So here it is running. It's going to generate 10 Chuck Norris jokes. So here are 10 of them. And then uh, the 5.3 model decided for the pe best one. It said Chuck Norris doesn't do push-ups. He pushes the earth down. And there you have it the best joke that they came up with. Great job. Now you can use open source models with your crew from here on out. We just wrapped up day two, all the codes in the description below, but tomorrow for day three, I'm gonna show you how to use tools with your crew. In the meantime, here are some more videos and I will see you next video.